Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a couple weeks, I think, since I posted a video. Or, well, actually, I think it's been a few weeks since I've recorded a video, but I was behind in posting videos, so I think I just uploaded a couple this past week. But I do have a few haul videos for you. I'm gonna try and film them all today. Today is Sunday, it's actually Father's Day, so I'm doing a couple things before I go out to see my dad. Um, so um, I thought I'd go ahead and record these and then hopefully I'll have them uploaded early this week. So this first order here, this is from the Bathing Garden, and this is um, kind of the second recent order that I placed. Um, I just really like some of the scents that she had sent as samples in my last order, and there were also a couple wax tarts in my last order, or clamshells in my last order, that I really liked, so I wanted to get um, some more. So what you see in front of you are the samples that Shannon sent to me. So I'll go through these really quickly, share them with you. First of all, I love her samples because they're she's really generous, first of all, with her samples. And then she just puts a lot of effort into her samples as well, which is really neat. So this first one is Calypso, and this is um, a sand dollar. And this is actually quite large. It's probably about two ounces of wax. But this scent is um, basically sea salt, vetiver, driftwood, jasmine, and coconut. And it's really nice. It's definitely kind of like a fresh, fresh, clean kind of, there's some floral with the jasmine in there. And I think the coconut, I don't really distinctly smell coconut, but I think it does sweeten it up a little bit. So this is a really nice scent. I can't, I don't think I got it in a sample in my last order, but it's part of her, I think it's called Take Me to the Sea collection or something like that, but that one's a good one. Um, then... This next one is Prosecco Berries, and this is actually her scent of the month right now. And this is Champagne, Dark Red Berries, Cotton Candy, and White Vanilla. And this is really nice. You definitely smell the champagne and the berry, and it's sweet. So this is a good scent. Although I can still, I think <laughs> the scent from the Calypso is still on my fingers. So I'm smelling that a little bit, but this is a nice sweet scent. And these are these are pretty small samples, but they're good to get um, an idea of the scent and see if it's something that you would like and would want to order in larger quantities. This next one is Magician's Bonfire, and I don't think I could find this one. And I think I forgot to look in her group to see if I could find it. Yeah. So, but it's basically kind of, is this the same one that I got a wax tart in? I think it's kind of like a lavender scent within bonfire notes. And it's very herbal. It's nice, but it is, it's really strong. I'm gonna have to, I haven't melted the clamshell that I got in my last order, so we'll see how that goes, but that's pretty good. This next one is Green and Sassy. And this is um, lemongrass with citrus and hints of sage, vanilla, and musk. And this reminds me a lot of Avobath, which I think there's a handful of vendors out there that carry this scent. Because really, it's mostly just lemongrass citrus notes. That's what I get. But it's really nice. I like it. I like this scent. But yeah, look, it smells to me just like Avobath that you would get from other vendors, which I understand is a... Um, a dupe for Lush, right? I've never smelt the Lush Lush one though, so I don't know. Um, this is Tropical Fairy Garden, and this is guava, strawberry, mango, papaya, raspberries with vanilla cream. And this is really good. You basically get all those kind of fruity, a little bit tropical um, fruit notes, but I like that there's no pineapple and no coconut in this one. Because I think a lot of people, like myself, I'm one that tends to shy away from pineapple. And then coconut scents, I like when they're creamy. Like, I do like some coconuts, it, but it depends. And this one's really nice. It's nice and fruity with a little bit of sweetness to it. So, and that's super cute, that flower. This is Summer Melon and Mint, which I have had this one before. I know this is not a new scent for her at all. Uh, but this is Melon, Guava, Mango, Papaya, and Strawberries with Peppermint Leaves. And this is so good. I mostly get the melon scents. Like the melon 
and then like sweet strong peppermint this is so good I love it I love it love it love it so that's a good one this one here is called dizzy I think this is a new scent for her and it is currently on her website this is strawberry lime orange um, with boozy daiquiri and you definitely get that daiquiri note but it's nice and kind of a sweet citrusy um, scent with a little bit of kind of that daiquiri alcohol but it is very sweet it's really good it's a good scent this one down here is lavender serenity and to me all I smell is like kind of a sweet kind of herbal lavender but what it is is it's lavender and grape but I don't like I my nose is not picking up the grape I get like a sweetness to it but I don't distinctly smell grape and I don't think I've been I've never been a fan of grape scents and wax really so this is really nice this is definitely one I think I would like to get my hands on and I do think it's in her collection that she has on the website now I'm just trying to refrain from ordering because I don't really need more and this last sample here is looking glass and did I write this one down? Yeah. This is Cassis. Is that how you say it? C-A-S-S-I-S. -S. Cassis Peach Sugar and Musk. So it's kind of like a... It's a peach. You get the peach a little bit. It's not like a really strong peach. But to me, it's kind of like a sweet kind of musky peach with maybe a hint of like a floral type note. It's nice. Um, I like it's kind of lighter on cold right now but so those are the samples and I will show you what I ordered next all right these scents are all ones that are currently on her website that you can order now um, and then I do have another seven clamshells but they're not currently listed on her website so you can't get them I'm going to show them to you but these are ones that you're able to order now I think most of these are from her what did I, I think take me to the sea collection or whatever it's called um, and she did have these sand dollar shapes that you could order in a couple of different scents this first one is pearls of the ocean and this one is um, basically pink sugar suntan lotion um, salty ocean fresh breeze and mandarin and this is a really nice scent it's kind of clean kind of fresh I'm not I'm getting maybe a little bit of like the mandarin rind I actually don't smell a lot of the pink sugar it's kind of salty kind of ocean air um, a hint of maybe the suntan lotion in the background and if, if suntan lotion is a scent you don't really like you probably will pick up on it because it's in there it's just not real strong but I love this I'm really getting into more um, fresh scents recently so I'm wanting to add some of those to my collection um, this first one back here this is Krakenberry is that how it's pronounced and um, let me open this and show you what it looks like but this is basically I think she said like sweet pink berries vanilla beans citrus and flowers and it's such a cute clamshell I know I've said it in my other videos I just love the way she decorates her clamshells and this is really nice it is a nice sweet berry and you get a sweet vanilla um, the citrus and flowers I don't pick up a lot of on cold really at all to me it's just kind of a nice sweet creamy vanilla and berry scent it's really nice maybe a little bit of citrus but anyhow that's what that one looks like pink sand I believe is one I got as a sample in my last order and I liked it so I went ahead and um, placed it or added it as an item for this order and this is pink sugar and suntan lotion and I would say typically I'm not a suntan lotion person but I actually really did like this one I think I do like it with the pink sugar mixed in that's what it looks like again just super pretty and this is nice I love pink sugar and so I think even though it does have that suntan lotion in there I think the pink sugar is really a little bit more dominant it's really nice so then this one here is salty siren it's super cute with a little mermaid tail and this is basically just a salty lime margarita and that's exactly what it smells like 
you open it and you just get this delicious salty margarita scent that's what it smells like exactly so good and so fresh it makes me want a margarita <sighs> anyhow okay turquoise loves coconut this is another one that I um, I think did I order my last one or did I get a sample of it I don't remember now but either way I know I smelled it and I really, really love it. This is tart lime water, fresh breeze, and tropical coconut. And that's such pretty colors. And I love this one. It, it truly is like a tropical coconut. It's like sweet, kind of fresh, and coconutty. And it's almost like, it's almost like a coconut drink or something. It's so good but there's a little bit of a freshness to it, but I definitely think it's more, a little bit more sweet than fresh, but I really like that one. All right, this one here is Sea of Tears. Just again, beautiful, beautiful wax with the little sand dollar in there. And this is sea salt, ocean mist, and aquatic florals. And I think I got this as a sample too. And it's beautiful. This is such a soft floral ocean air feminine scent this is like beautiful beautiful feminine floral scent and the floralness is not strong and it i think to be honest it kind of reminds me of one of my aunts like a perfume she used to wear that always it has a floral note but it's kind of like a fresh floral and it's soft it's not overbearing at all i really love this one and this is just a beautiful scent, so I love it. I'm super excited for that. And then this last one here is Mermaid Tears. This is what it looks like. This one has the full mermaid in it. And this is Essential Citrus Oils, Tropical Greens, and Salty Tears. I think I had a sample in this one as well in my last order. And I think I said it reminds me kind of a cit like a citronella candle because it has that like the citrus oils with the green notes and either my nose is just picking up different stuff in this one because it doesn't remind me as much of citronella now that I'm smelling it in the clamshell but it does have that kind of fresh citrus and not like it's more like citrus oils not like orange or lime or anything like that it's kind of like a fresh citrus oil scent with some green notes it's pretty it's fresh and it's clean and a great scent and I'll be back with the clamshells that are not currently available on her website so here's the other seven um, that I ordered that I think were all I think some were from her circus collection that is no longer available and then I don't know if there was another collection maybe that I might have ordered off of that is not on the website. I don't really keep up that well with what collection she has coming and going, but I do know I couldn't find these on her website currently, unfortunately. So I'm gonna share them with you. If they sound interesting, you can put them on your list and then hopefully she will stock them again at some point in the near future. This first one is Breaking Violet. I just love the look of this clamshell. It is gorgeous. And it's just beautiful. And Violet is really becoming I say becoming, it has been I think for a while now that a scent a lot of vendors are starting to carry and do blends with and it's just a gorgeous scent. Um, this one here is Violet Leaf Vertivert. I don't, that's what it said on the website. I don't know if it's supposed to be Vetivert. I don't know. And Sweet Vanilla. Basically what you smell is the violet with a little bit of the sweet vanilla. And it's beautiful. And violet to me is kind of like a nice soft floral. It does have a strong, it is a strong scent, like a strong floral, but for whatever reason in wax, it seems to be a little soft. If that makes any, <laughs> any sense, I don't know if it does, but um, it's a great scent from other vendors. You see a lot of vendors blending it with sweet scents and bakery scents and all of that stuff, but it, it is a gorgeous scent. This is Summer in a Jar. I think uh, Shannon has had this scent for a long time. Super, super cute. And I think I, think I might have um, one of her scrubs in it, but this is Citrus Fruits with a Touch of Green Floral. And that's what it smells like. You really get kind of like a mandarin um, and maybe some like lemon, lime type scents. 
it's really pretty but maybe some like mango or papaya too I feel like there's like mango or papaya in the background really really nice um, it does say a green floral maybe that's in there oh I think there's pineapple in here too it's kind of like a tropical citrus type scent it's really nice um, I'm not I mean there's a hint of maybe kind of like a green type note in there but for the most part it smells kind of like a fresh citrus um, tropical scent this next one is tea cake and this is black tea almondy cake and vanilla frosting on oh, this one is two-tone I haven't been showing you whether or not they're two-tone this actually might be the first one that is two-tone I don't know um, but anyhow this is what it looks like and it's really nice you really do get kind of a sweet black tea and that almondy cake but that almond is not like cherry-ish like I find that pistachio and almond scents can sometimes have a very heavy cherry note the this one does not it's really nice it's kind of a sweet sweet sorry if I could talk sweet cake with just kind of like almost like a hint of an almond extract and then you really get that vanilla frosting it is really good and I wonder if the top is the vanilla frosting because it is pink and white This is really good. I love the black tea in this. It's so nice. And I think the black tea, because it does have like a lemon note to it, I think kind of helps cut the heaviness of the almond. So that's really nice. This is the only one I could not find a scent description for, fried candy donut, but I think it's fairly self-explanatory. It literally smells like a fried donut with kind of like a sweet strawberry jam thrown on there. It's really good. It's very heavy but it is very similar to the fried donut scents that you can get from like Candles from the Keeping Room, Sassy Girl Aroma, really, really good. Um, but you definitely have to like that fried note because that definitely has that fried donut note in there. Carrot Cake is one that I got in my last order as well and I loved it so much I wanted to get more. This is basically just a carrot cake with a cream cheese frosting. So it is another one that is two-tone or two layers, whatever you want to call it. Um, and just smells so good. A very authentic spiced carrot cake scent with that rich and creamy cream cheese frosting. Really good. So this is going to be excellent for the fall. Um, circus cake. This is one I got my last order that I really liked. Um, however, when I got this one, either it smells different or I don't like it as much as I thought. I don't know. I haven't melted it yet, but it's blue raspberry shaved, blue raspberry shaved ice, powdered sugar, and vanilla velvet cake. And... This, this one smells different for whatever reason than the other one. I'm going to have to compare the two. Whatever is in this one, there's a stronger note of something in this one that is just not as pleasing to my nose. Um, I think the blue raspberry shaved ice is stronger in this one. And I don't know. I'm going to have to compare the two and see why I think it's different. And the last one here is Easter Basket. I had this scent from her a long time ago. I absolutely love the scent, but when I melted it, it was super, super light. Like I just, it did not throw and I was super disappointed because I like the scent. So I'm really hoping that this one will perform better. This is orange cake, vanilla sugar. Um, it's just amazing. Well, first of all, look at that, super cute. It is two-toned. But this is like, it reminds me a little bit of kind of the orange Julius, 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 orange Julius scent you can get from some vendors. It's a very creamy, sweet orange with a little bit of a cake note. It is so delicious. So this one smells a lot stronger and cold than the other one that I had that I was disappointed in. And what I'm noticing, okay, so people always comment, is Bathing Garden good or not, good or not? My older clamshells that I have from her, some have done well, some haven't. But one of the things I noticed is her clamshells have held up really well. This is a fairly new order, and her clamshells are already getting a little soft, which usually bugs me. But I'm thinking she may have upped the oils in her clamshells, potentially. I don't know. I mean, this is not coming from Shannon. This is just coming from me. But I have noticed several of her clamshells are already starting to get soft, and I haven't had them for very long. And I feel like that happens when you have wax with a lot of oil in it. So I don't know if maybe she's kind of heard some of the rumblings about people 
saying, oh, it's not as strong as it used to be, whatever, and maybe she's increased the fragrance oil because I feel like I haven't melted a lot. I've only melted one clamshell so far from my last order, but it performed exceptionally well. However, it was lemon cheesecake and lemon scents always tend to be really strong anyways. Um, but I am noticing that the bottoms of her clamshells are getting softer. So I feel like even on cold, they're a lot stronger than they used to be. So I'm really hoping that I have a lot of good luck with these. And because um, people just, when I first got into wax, people just raved about the bathing garden. And you've seen kind of a lot of that go away recently. You don't hear about the bathing garden as much. But with the scent she's been coming out with, I've been super excited about them and wanting to order. So this is my order. And hopefully I'll start to get to melting some of this over the next several weeks and be able to come back to you and let you know what I think. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.